to start, everybody, um, thank you for joining us to chat with Sam, who's just signed an extension with the Saskatchewan Rough Riders to add another year to um, his deal. His past deal was actually uh, up in 2024, so this is an additional year um, added onto that, uh, added onto, the, onto that contract, and Sam, congratulations as well. Um, we'll go through the uh, normal process where you can use the raise hand function to ask a question. Um, and you will get one question and a follow up. And if you have more questions, you can re enter the queue. And we'll open it up to questions. We will start with Britain. Hey, Sam, congratulations on the extension. Just why for you did you want to sign this extension now rather than wait to see, wait until after next season to maybe do so? I mean, to really keep it simple, um, that's why I wanted to be. You know, uh, the team took a chance on me and drafted me early uh, in 2022, and I just feel like it was the right, the right um, decision to do and um, and be here long term. Excellent. And what's this kind of off season been like for you? I understand you did have some NFL interest and everything, and and what what happened there? I mean, um, I have a few workouts. Um, I think I have five. Um, but yeah, just going through the through the through the through the process of, of working out for NFL team, you know, and uh, and, and see where uh, I could fit or or where they where they see me fit or anything like this. But obviously, it didn't work out. But um, I'm I'm glad to be back with the Riders, you know. Thank you, Taylor. Hey Sam, good to see you. Um, can you take us through the teams that you worked out for and what the feedback or what the sort of general feedback was uh, down south? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, the first team I worked out for was the what is was the Cardinals, original Cardinals, and um, uh, I had a good feedback because I I remember twenty twenty two they had invited me to the to the rookie mini camp, and um, the second workout I believe was was the Denver Broncos. The third one was the Pats. The fourth one was um, Tennessee. And I, my last one was with Green Bay. But um, in general, all the feedback was like, um, they like what they see on film. <clears throat> Excuse me. They like what they see on film. Um, I can get the ball, uh, catch it at a high point and stuff. Uh, but most most of them was like, um, we'll see where we fit. and, and um, and uh, just basically give me good feedback and if I could fit the team, like I said, but um, obviously they, they, they decided to go in another direction, which is fine because um, at the end of the day, like I was in a good position with the riders anyway, so it is what it is. You've already, already established yourself uh, after this strong year in the CFL. What can you do more next year? Can we expect more next year? What do you expect from yourself uh, next year in terms of building on, on what you did last season? Yeah, I mean, uh, I feel like uh, last year was just a little, a little uh, preview, and you know, of what I can do. Really, um, I feel like I can help the team even more like next year, um, on and off the field. But um, to your point, I feel like I, I I'm a, I'm a still make the plays I can, I can. Uh, I mean, throw my way, and um, just keep keep on grinding. And, and obviously, the end goal is to win. So. As long as we can't we can't do that, I feel like um, it's going to be a progress for me individually and for the team. Thank you, Lee Jones. Yeah, thanks. Uh, uh, I guess my my question is uh, with yourself uh, being a national receiver, uh, along with um, you know Schaefer Baker, uh, Lenius Picton. Uh, this is probably a, a, a national receiving court riders we haven't seen in at least. 10, 15 years back in the days for people that covered the riders then. What do you think of this national receiving core right now, Sam? I mean, um, obviously from the outside looking in, just with the names we got, we got talent as the receiver at the receiving position. And uh we got we got I got um tilt my head to the scouting department in jail for um, you know, putting putting good receivers, especially Canadian receivers. I mean drafting Canadian receivers in Obviously, like it's it's a competition, and uh, but like I always say, we don't really see it as like um, is a Canadian receiver type of thing versus American receiver type of thing. We just we just put our head down and, and work. Thanks, Seth. No Rob. Hey Sam, um, 
I recall like really early in training camp, writing about and talking about the way you were impressing just right out of the gate in camp. Did, could you tell early in camp last year that last season was going to become what it uh, eventually evolved into? Um, I had a good feeling. Um, obviously, uh, Ken favorite Baker was hurt. So somebody had to fulfill the shoes and, um, I was the one, that was the one they call upon. So, uh, but I was ready, you know, and, um, just from, from a playbook standpoint also, um, I feel like the Z position was more involved in the offense and, um, any plays that, that, that my name was called, I just, I just made, I just made it. And, um, but yeah, going into training camp. I feel like I was more involved in the offense, and obviously that helped with my confidence. This may be a bit of an obscure question, but I recall a catch you made day one or day two of camp. Trevor threw the ball, and it was near the right sidelines, maybe about the five-yard line, and you laid out for the ball, dove for the ball, caught it, and still managed to get your feet in bounds. Um, Do you recall that play by any chance? Not at all. (laughs) <laughs> well, that makes know, I, I know i know i know that i've made a few catches like this uh throughout um last year and in practice and in games and really over my 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 long time playing football but it, it's funny you, you recall that it's, it's it's cool that you recall that cool well it was a beauty <laughs> thanks sam thank you carol bonjour samuel j'aurais des questions en français pour toi uh, J'imagine d'abord ton, ton plan A aurait été de signer dans la NFL, mais là, de retour avec les Riders pour une autre saison. Euh, comment tu te sens de cette prolongation de contrat? Um, je me sens bien pour le vrai. Euh, comme j'ai dit euh, tout à l'heure, je pense que c'était, c'était la, la meilleure décision que j'avais à faire. Euh, m'assurer m'assurer qu'on que avait un intérêt mutuel entre moi et la team, et moi et l'équipe. Et euh, ça s'est juste fait naturellement, vraiment. Euh, on, Euh, il m'aurait accroché pour, pour savoir si, si j'avais l'intérêt et vraiment j'avais l'intérêt et euh, on a juste on a juste on a juste euh, sui, suivi le processus et ça s'est fait naturellement et là tu reviens d'une grosse saison euh, nouvel entraîneur chef nouveau coordonnateur offensif est-ce que tu as déjà eu la chance de parler avec le nouveau personnel et euh, quelles sont tes attentes pour la prochaine saison euh, oui j'ai déjà parlé au, euh, au coordonnateur offensif euh, je l'ai parlé brièvement peut-être une fois Mais euh, euh, concernant concernant euh, l'attente de cette année, euh, juste en regardant le playbook, il y a des jeux plus, euh, on a des jeux plus explosifs. Euh, on a plus aussi des de, euh, jeux euh, qu'il faut qu'il faut euh, se concentrer plus sur des, des ajustements justement. Et euh, mais d'après moi, ça a été ça a été une année vraiment explosive. Euh, ce que je, d'après ce que j'ai entendu à propos de notre nouvelle euh, Quand on a trop offensif, c'est que c'est un, c'est un génie. Donc, je suis excité à l'idée de, de travailler avec lui. Merci, Samuel. Go back to Britain. Sam, just during this offseason and the process and everything, how much advice maybe has Key and Schaefer Baker given you? Because he kind of went through a similar thing last year where you have the breakout season, these NFL workouts kind of come. I mean, uh, me and uh, Key and Schaefer uh, Baker was our situation was a little different because when he was going through his his, um, his extension, he was coming off an injury, you know. So um, and he signed a two year extension also. Uh, I signed a one year, but um, obviously, like um, at the end of the day, like the only thing he told me is as long as it makes sense to you, um, and uh, and that's where you want to be. Well, just go forward with it, and that's exactly what I did. Excellent. And so just looking ahead of the season, where can you see this offense going? Because new offensive coordinator, Mark Mueller, you have another year of CFL experience. Keen Schaefer Baker's coming in healthy. It seems like there's a lot of optimism around what this offense can do this next season. I mean, um, yes, man. Like um there's a there's a good there's a good energy coming coming in this season with a new uh, with a new coaching staff, really. And uh I feel like the sky is the limit for us. Um uh, obviously, last year we had injury bug at a quarterback's uh, uh, position, but this year we 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 starting back to square zero. So, obviously, um, we're excited. Uh, I think I think it's gonna be exp- explosive uh, playbook, and uh, we're just ready to get rolling. Thank you. Lee. 
Yeah, Sam, you touched on uh, the opportunity when uh, Schaefer Baker went down. I just wanted to see if you could elaborate just on how small those opportunity windows are in football. You see it in all leagues with all players that they get their one shot, and sometimes that's the only shot they get. How important it is to to be at your best when that window opens for you? Yeah, I think I think it comes with preparation. You know, you just um, never know when your time will come, and when when you when your name is is called. You just got to be ready because, like you say, it might be a, it might be your first and last one. So, uh, me personally, I was always ready. Um, I just keep my head down and keep working, knowing that that, that time will come. And uh, when it come, I just took it, you know. And I guess uh, my other question is: now that you you're you're good for two years with the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, we're seeing a lot of players that are only around for one year terms. Are you expecting to see a little more love in the stands, some some emulous jerseys? Now that you got uh, down for two years, I mean they already show a lot of love, but uh, if they can show even more love, that would be that would be great. But um, I mean the fans, the fans are amazing, man. That's that's part of the reason why I want to stay here. Um, like I'd be on and off the field. I I be I might be I might be doing groceries and and they recognize me, want to take pictures, just say hi, or just want to tell me like keep keep doing what what I'm doing. And that, that make them proud. So, obviously, like, the, the fans, the fans really are the best in the league. And that definitely helped my decision to, to stay here. I Thanks, think Sam. we're going, I think we're going back to French here, Sam. So, we'll go back to Carol. All okay. right. Ouais, Samuel, si tu peux parler sur de, de l'aspect des partisans, comme tu viens juste de le faire, mais en français, s'il te plaît. Ouais, comme j'ai dit, euh, euh, ma, décision, ma décision de prolonger mon contrat, euh, les fans faisaient des parties, euh, définitivement partie de, de cette décision-là parce que, comme je dis, c'est les meilleurs, on a les meilleurs partisans de la Ligue. Euh, je, 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 peux, je peux aller à l'épicerie, puis euh, on, on me dit allô, on me dit de continuer qu ce que je fais sur le terrain. Euh, ils sont fiers de moi ou ils veulent prendre des photos avec moi. So, c'est un aspect vraiment cool que je trouve que, que, que euh, les Rough Riders ont dans cette, dans cette euh, communauté, dans cette province. Et ça fait partie de ma décision de, de, de prolonger mon contrat. Et maintenant que tu n'es plus un secret gardé pour la Ligue, est-ce que tu t'attends à une couverture plus serrée dans la prochaine saison? Et c'est quoi les ajustements que toi, tu peux faire de ton côté pour euh, rester productif? Euh, c'est une bonne question. Euh, euh, si c'est ça qu'ils veulent faire, je sais que j'ai d'autres receveurs à mes côtés, comme Kian, j'ai euh, Chambain, euh, qui, vont, qui, vont, qui, vont, qui vont se démarquer. S'ils si, si veulent avoir une, une, une couverture plus euh, serrée sur moi, donc, euh, c'est un win-win, you know? c'est un gagnant-gagnant. Si c'est ça qu'ils veulent faire, well, mes, mes autres coéquipiers vont profiter. Donc, à, moi, à la fin de la journée, depuis qu'on gagne, euh, euh, je, je suis heureux avec ça. Merci. Seeing no more hands, it's the last call for questions. Sam, I got one for you, man. If you just uh, have a message for the fans, maybe. Sorry, easy. I didn't put my hand up there, but yeah, if you want to say anything to the fans, quick shout out or anything. Yeah. Um. First and foremost, man. Um. Man, this year, this year, gonna be great. Um. Come, come, root for us. It's gonna be a great year with a new coaching staff. We got, we got, we got new stuff, and and we got stuff rolling that's gonna head to the right way. And um, just, just come support us, man. We're gonna make y'all proud. We're gonna make the province proud, and we're gonna need y'all for showing home games. See y'all. See y'all in June. Appreciate you, man. Amazing. Thanks so much, Sam, and thanks everyone for joining us. And we're looking forward to seeing you back in Saskatchewan in about a month here for training camp. Yeah. Thank you. See y'all soon. All right. Bye, everyone. All right, bye. Thank you.